हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज नियति सेट योर ऑनलाइन एजुकेटर माय टॉपिक फॉर द प्रेजेंटेशन इज द रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम ऑफ कॉकरोचेस दिस इज द सिक्स्थ सेक्शन ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन एनिमल्स ओके कॉकरोचेस एज वी नो that they are dioecious what do you mean by dioecious students that means that both the sexes have well developed reproductive organs okay as you can see in these two diagrams that they have both uh, both have well developed reproductive organ that is male and the female okay and that is to say cockroaches they exhibit sexual dimorphism that means both sexes have well developed reproductive organs and both the sexes are separate and they can be distinguishable externally that means you can just say by 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 seeing that this one is male and this one is female okay as you can see a male reproductive uh, system of cockroaches male reproductive system consists of pair of testes these are testes these two are testes and these small so small are your follicles of testes okay one lying on each lateral side in the fourth to sixth abdominal segments from each testes okay from each testes a thin vasa difference this is your vasa difference okay so from uh, each testes it a uh, uh, thin vasa difference arises from it which opens into a ejaculatory duct through which seminal vesicle is there okay so this is your ejaculatory duct okay the ejaculatory duct opens into a mole a male gonophore okay this is your male gonophore this one is your male gonophore so the ejaculatory duct it opens into a male gonophore which is situated ventral to the anus a characteristic mushroom shaped gland is present in 6 to 7th abdominal segment which function as an accessory reproductive gland the external genitalia that means the private part of cockroaches they are represented by male gonopophyses okay it is a uh, male gonopophyses which is a uh, external genitalia okay male gonapophyses is also known as phylomere okay it is also known as phylomere and it is made up of chitin okay so it is chitinous in nature these are seminal vesicle as you can see these are your seminal vesicles in which sperms are stored okay and they are glued together in the form of bundles called spermatophores so these are your spermatophores what are these they are your spermatophores which are discharged during copulation or during intercourse okay so i hope this uh, male reproductive system of cockroaches is clear to you now jump into female reproductive system of cockroaches the female reproductive system it consists of two large ovaries what are these this these are your ovaries two ovaries that lie laterally in the second to sixth abdominal segments Now remember students i have taught you that male reproductive system consists of pair of testes one lying on each lateral side in fourth to sixth segment of abdomen okay but the ovaries they lie laterally in the second to sixth abdominal segment each ovary is formed of a group of eight ovarian tubules okay it is formed of eight ovarian tubules tubules or ovarioles okay or ovarioles what are these these are your ovarioles which are eight in number okay ovarioles are also known as ovarian tubules okay that contain a chain of developing ova okay 
Now comes OV duct. After ovary is what is this? This is your OV duct. OV duct of each ovary unite into a single median OV duct. What is this? This is your single common OV duct. This is your uh, left and this is your right OV duct. But they both have joint and united together to form a single median OV duct. Okay, which is common. And it is also called as vagina. Okay, which opens into the genital chamber. Okay, this opens into a genital chamber. This is your genital chamber. This is your genital chamber. A pair of spermithica is present in the sixth segment which opens into a genital pore. This is your uh, left spermithica and this is your right spermithica. So, uh, a pair of spermithica right Spermithica and left spermithica, which are present in the sixth section, uh, sixth segment of the abdomen, which opens into a genital chamber. This is your genital chamber. Okay. As we know that sperms are transferred to spermatophores, I have taught you students here that uh, sperms are transferred to spermatophores. And their fertilized eggs are encased in ovaries called uthika. Okay. I again repeat uh, the same that their fertilized egg. Fertilized egg is found in female reproductive system of cockroaches. So their fertilized eggs, they are encased in capsules called uthika. Uthika is a dark reddish to blackish brown capsule which is about 8 millimeter long. Okay. They are dropped or glued to a suitable surface, usually in a crack or surface of high relative humidity near a food source. On an average, female produces around uh, 9 to 10 uthika and each contains 14 to 16 eggs. The development of uh, this cockroach that is P. americana is parometabolous. That means it, there is development through nymphal stage. Nymph. Nymph is formed. Okay. Uh, the nymph looks very much like adult. The nymph grows by molting about 13 times to reach the adult form. I am again repeating. What is nymph? Nymph is a stage uh, that grows by molting through 13 stages uh, or 13 times to reach the adult form. And the next two last nymphal stage has wing pads. But only adult cockroaches have wings. Okay. So, this was uh, male and female reproductive system of cockroaches. That means both the sex sexes are separate and they are distinguishably uh, externally. And uh, that is the reason cockroaches, they exhibit sexual dimorphism. Okay. And they both have, the both sexes of the so cockroaches, they are very well developed. And uh, that is the reason we call it as dioecious. Okay. Now, reproductive system in male. We'll study in detail. See, these are testes which I have told you. This is a phallic gland or you can say it's an accessory reproductive organ. Okay. And uh, small tubules, long tubules, seminal vesicle. This is your seminal vesicle. Okay. Um, a duct like is uh, uh, connected with the testis that is known as vasa deferensa. And what are these yellow ones? They are ejaculatory ducts. And uh, these are right phalomeres. These are ventral phalomeres. This is anal cerci. cerci. These two are anal cerci. Okay. And this is your caudal style. Okay. And this is your pseudo penis. Okay. Pseudo penis that means false penis. 
So cockroaches, they are dioecious in nature and male reproductive system consists of pair of testes that lie one on each lateral side as I have taught you that they lie laterally in fourth to sixth abdominal segment. Okay. And each testis give rise to uh, or opens into a thin pair of vasa differenza these are your vasa differenza and then they open into seminal vesicle this is your seminal vesicle and then into the ejaculatory uh, duct this is your ejaculatory duct and then into the male gonophore which is situated ventral to anus okay and mushroom uh, shaped gland is also present which we call it as accessory uh, reproductive system of uh, cockroaches so it is also present uh, and uh, uh, in the 6th to 7th abdominal segment okay and external genitalia it include male gonapophysis or phalomeo uh, which we which is made up of chitin and that's why they are chitinous in nature they are asymmetrical and they surround the male gonapophore okay this is phalomeo right phalomeo and ventral phalomeo so they both are known as gonapophysis and they are chitinous in nature and the sperms they are stored in seminal vesicle this is your seminal vesicle and they are glued together in the form of bundle which we call it as spermatophores which are discharged during copulation or you can say when male intercourses with the female okay Now comes female reproductive system of cockroaches. Okay, these are ovaries, pair of ovaries. These are two oviducts, right and the left oviduct, and this is a common oviduct. These are collateral glands. Okay, this is spermatica. This is this one is your spermatica. Okay. Then uh, this is your vestibulum, gonapophysis, and uh, uh, this is uh, all about uh, female reproductive system and please uh, note that uh, students that genital chamber of female reproductive system and vestibulum they both are considered as genital pouch okay so uh, female reproductive uh, system consists of two large ovaries as you can see these two are large ovaries that lie literally in the second and sixth abdominal section and each ovary is formed of a group of eight ovarian tubules or ovarioles which we call it as ovarioles okay that contains a chain of developing ova okay and uh, these i have told you that uh, left and right oviduct they unite into a single median oviduct this is your common oviduct okay which is also called as vagina a pair of spermatica is also present this is your pair of spermatica okay and uh, this is how female reproductive system of a co cockroaches works and uh, as I have told you that their fertilized eggs they are encased in capsule okay like this so this is known as Uthika. Uthika is a dark reddish to blackish brown capsule which is about 8 millimeter long and they are dropped or glued to a suitable surface usually in the crack of high relative humidity area near the food source okay and on average female produces 9 to 10 uthika which contains about 14 to 16 eggs okay and the development of uh, p americana is orometabolus that means there is a development through nymphal stage I have, I have already taught you that nymph very much look like an adult uh, cockroaches. The nymph it grows by molting about 13 times to reach the adult form. The next to last nymphal stage has wing pads but only adult cockroaches have wings. Okay. 
So this was all about male reproductive system of cockroaches and female reproductive system of cockroaches. Okay. Now, development is through oromatabolus. I have told you that it goes through a nymph stage. This is your egg capsule. I have told you that they are fertilized eggs. They are encased in a capsule called Uthika. This is Uthika. Okay. And Uthika is a dark reddish to blackish brown capsule which is about 8 mm long. They are dropped or glued to a suitable surface usually in the crack or a surface of high relative humidity area near food source and on average female produce 9 to 10 uthikas just imagine that in a in just a span of time female produces this egg capsule around 14 to 6 uh, 9 to 10 uh, in number okay so, and each uh, Uthika, it contains about uh, 14 to 16 eggs. And uh, I have told you that uh, cockroach development is called as aerometabolus. That means it goes through a nymph stage. Okay. Nymph, uh, it very much uh, look like an adult. They mold 13 times to reach the adult form okay that means the nymph it grows by molting about 13 times to reach the adult form and the next to last nymphal stage has wing pads but only adult cockroaches have wings okay only the adult cockroaches they have wings as you can see these are the wings okay this is your male uh, adult male and this is your adult female okay this is again male reproductive system. These are follicle of testes, vasa differenza, which is uh, connected with the testes. This is your seminal vesicle. Uh, this is a phallic gland, and uh, these these are your phallic ducts, and this is your ejaculatory duct, which uh, opens into the male gonapophysis, and this is your genital aperture. Okay. Uh, let's see each part one by one testes testes a pair of testes is uh, found in male adult male cockroach and it is uh, it lies ventrally in the fourth to fifth or fourth to sixth abdominal segment and they are trilobe uh, dorsoventral in nature that means they are situated just below the turja. Turja I have already taught you. Please refer to that slide. And uh, then comes vasa differenza that arise from each uh, testes. That means we have uh, adult cockroach has a one pair of testes. So vasa differenza they are also two in number and they arise from each testes. And they are white thread like tube that pass downward and it enters a seminal vesicle. Okay. Seminal vesicle is a sac like structure which stores sperm. That means sperms are stored in seminal vesicle. Okay. Now comes uh, Uticolia culo gland that is present at the junction of vasa differenza and ejaculatory duct. Okay. Or you can say that, uh, see, this is your um, long tubules, these are your short tubules and this is your seminal vesicle. So, seminal vesicle along with the small tubule and long tubule, they are called as utricular gland, okay. Then comes male genital pore which is uh, between 9th and 10th uh, abdominal segments and they are present ventrally. Okay. Now comes gonapophysis. They are also known as phallomeres. Okay. They are also known as phallomeres. They, uh, the external genitalia are represented by male gonapophysis or phallomere and they are made up of chitin. So they are chitinous in nature. They are asymmetrical in nature and it surrounds the male gonophore. Okay. Now, um, uh, and and this this helps in 
copulation that means when, when the male it intercourses with female so gonapophysis or phalomeres they help in copulation now comes spermatophores the sperms are stored in the seminal vesicle I have told you remember I have taught you in the diagram that sperms they are stored in the seminal vesicle and they are glued together in the form of bundles called spermatophores which are discharged during copulation okay so the and they are glued together and they are covered by three layered protective covering which are those uh, protective covering first is your inner layer uh, by tubules of the uticular gland then comes middle layer by ejaculatory duct and by the outer layer that is by phallic gland okay now comes female reproductive system okay as I have told you that the female reproductive system it consists of two large ovaries what are these these are your ovaries pair of ovaries and that lies literally in the second to sixth abdominal section uh, segment of abdomen okay and each ovary is formed of a group of eight ovarian tubules these are your eight ovarian tubules and they are also known as ovarioles what are they uh, called as ovarioles okay ovarioles uh, they contain a chain of developing ova okay and oviduct that now comes oviduct left and the right oviduct uh, so they unite into a single median oviduct which we call it as vagina which opens into a genital chamber this is the genital chamber okay this is the ovariole zoom view that it has uh, several parts such as terminal fragment see these are your ovarioles and ovio ovarioles zoom view is this one terminal filament germarium this is your egg tube vitellarium and this is your pedicle okay so it has four parts okay each ovariole has four parts let's see uh, all the parts one by one Ov ovaries a pair of uh, ovaries they lie literally in the fourth to sixth segment okay of abdomen generally uh, in your ncrt book it is written that uh, they are present in second and sixth abdominal segment but in net uh, if you google it then it is said that ovaries they lie literally in the fourth to sixth segment but i will uh, i'll suggest you to write second to sixth abdominal segment instead of fourth to sixth segment each ovary is made up of eight ovarioles i have taught you and uh, the narrow end of all the eight ovarioles they unite to form a filament okay see this is your narrow end of ovariole Th these are your ovarioles and they are eight in number which are present in ovary this is the zoom view of ovariole so this is the terminal part of the ovariole they f unite to form uh, a filament see the narrow end of eight ovarioles they unite to form filament the ovarioles they have linear rows of ova at different stages of development in the middle region okay i have taught you uh, that there are four segments of each ovariole the basal part of the ovariole is known as pedicel and it is tubular and it allows passage of the ova okay which we call it as pedicel pedicel of all ovarioles they unite to form oviduct see this is the terminal filament of the ovariole they unite to form a filament and these are the pedicle pedicle they unite to form what they are unite to form oviduct okay the right and the left oviduct they join to form vagina which opens in the genital chamber okay that right and the left oviduct they join 
to form vagina which opens in a genital chamber. Now comes spermatica. Spermatica they are present in pairs. This is your spermatica. Left spermatica and right spermatica. Okay, so they are present in pairs. So pair of unequal size spermatica in the sixth segment is present. The left spermatica it stores sperms during copulation. That means when the male intercourses with the female adult cockroach. So the left spermatica it stores sperm, and the right one is non-functional. Okay, and they open in a genital chamber by a common duct. See, this is your uh, spermatica which is present in pair. This is your left spermatica and this is the right spermatica. It's right spermatica, it is non-functional in nature. But the left spermatica, it helps in storage of sperm during copulation. That means when the male adult cockroach intercourses with the female adult cockroach. Okay. Now comes gonapophysis. Gonapophysis is a... You can say that it is a chitinous plate-like structure which is present around the genital aperture. And there are three pairs. Okay. They are always found in three pairs. Posterior. That means back. Back two chambers are as ovipositors which carry the egg to the ootheical chamber. Okay. Now, how... Reproduction between male adult cockroach and female uh, and female cockroach takes place. So the process of reproduction. Sperms are transferred through spermatophores, and the fertilized eggs they are encased in capsule called as uthika. Within the uthika development, it takes through nymph stage. Nymph is more like an adult but it takes uh, 13 times molting to reach the adult form. So the cuticle is cast off periodically called ecdiasis or molting. Okay, And these uthika they are dropped or glued to a suitable surface usually in a crack uh, spaces where the relative humidity is very high. Okay, And on an average, female produces around 9 to 10 uthika that contains 14 to 16 eggs. Okay. And I have told you that the development of P. americana cockroach is a orometabolus. That means there is a development through nymphal stage. And nymph very much looks like an adult. And it takes around 13 times to reach adult form. Okay. Now, fertilization. I've told you uh, that development is indirect and it is also known as orometabolus that involves a nymph stage. Okay, and sperms they are transferred through spermatophores and the fertilized eggs they are encased in capsules. And the uthika they are dropped or glued to a suitable surface with high relative humidity. Okay. And development is through nymph stage. That's the reason development is called as indirect and orometabolous. Okay. That means nymph stage involves. And nymph very much resembles the adult. And the nymph, it grows by molting 13 times to reach the adult form. Okay. Now, what are the significance for human? How cockroaches are significant to humans? Many species of cockroaches, they are very wild and they have no economic importance. Some species, they live in and around human habitat and they, uh, they are pests because they destroy food and contaminate it with their smelly excreta. Okay, they can also transmit a variety of bacterial diseases by contaminating food material so i guess that they are uh, they have no as such uh, economic importance because they are like pest for humans okay 
that they thrive in and around human habitat and they destroy food and contaminate it with their smelly excreta that means their excreta is very smelly in nature and uh, that is how they destroy food and contaminate it and they can transmit a variety of bacterial diseases by contaminating food material okay now comes the excretory system of uh, cockroaches excretion uh, is performed by malphigian tubules i have taught you what malphigian tubules are that they are hairy like a structure okay uh, you can refer to that slide okay or that presentation so excretion in uh, cockroaches is performed by malphigian tubules each tubule is lined by glandular and ciliated cells they absorb nitrogenous waste products and convert them into uric acid which is excreted out through the hind gut therefore this insect is called as uricotelic okay they are called as uricotelic in addition the fat body nephrocytes and uricos gland they also help in secretion excretion malphigian tubule along with the body fat and nephrocytes they help in excretion so let's see what malphigian tubules are these are your hair like structure are your malphigian tubules so they are very fine they are unbranched they are blind tubules which are attached at the junction of mid gut and hind gut okay and the blind end of malphigian tubules they freely float in the hemolymph whereas the proximal end it opens in the anterior end of the hind gut they absorb nitrogenous waste water and salt as you can see that they are absorbing it now i have told you that in addition uh, to malphigian tubules fat body and nephrocyte and uricose gland they also help in secre excretion so how does body fat and nephrocyte uh, they help body fat uh, are the fat cells that extract the excretory products from the blood and what does nephrocytes do they are very large they are binucleated cells that means they have two nucleus which are found attached to the dorsal diaphragm okay see this is the uh, feces and the urine that pass through the uh, anus okay so that means this is your hind hind gut right this is your hind gut and this is your main um, mid gut and in between uh, you can say that in, in the junction of hind gut and mid gut there are malphigian tubules present okay and uh, feces and urine just pass through the anus and reabsorption of uh, h2o ions and valuable organic molecules can be taken place okay uh, i'm again repeating what are the economical importance so they are pest because they destroy food and contaminate it with their smelly excreta they can transmit bacterial diseases like cholera typhoid tuberculosis etc by contaminating food materials so cockroaches they have no asset economical importance so thank you and keep watching a dipedia word videos in my next section of the presentation will be studying morphology and anatomy of frogs okay so till then stay tuned